And the Confederation of African Football has finalized inspections of the country's bidding to host the 2025 Africa Cup of Nations finals. Morocco, Algeria, South Africa, Zambia and a joint bid by Benin and Nigeria are looking to replace Guinea. But as CGTN's Adel Mahri reports, the costs of staging the expanded 24-team Afghan is putting the Premier Football competition out of the reach of most African nations. Out of the countries who won bids to host the expanded 2014 AFCON finals between 2019 and 2025, only one was ready. And after CAF deemed Guinea's sports facilities inadequate to host the 2025 AFCON, five other nations submitted bids to replace it. Morocco, Algeria, a joint Nigeria-Benin bid, South Africa and Zambia are interested, but the latter is considering pulling out. <laughs> Algeria doesn't have the road infrastructure or hotel hospitality levels required to host the competition. Will it allow Morocco's team to participate? Benin is not ready. Though the Nigeria part of the bid is, Zambia is not ready as well. But you must know these countries are rushing to host the 2025 edition, not the latter ones, because there are talks between CAF and FIFA that this edition may be a qualifying round for the 2026 FIFA World Cup. CAF boss Patrice Mutsipi had earlier announced that the organization can't award successive AFCONs to the same African region. With the 2023 edition set in Cote d'Ivoire, that could see the Nigeria Benin bid fall to the bottom of the list. Zambia, the 2012 AFCON champions, have never hosted the competition before. Morocco has exceptional resources. Algeria too has the same and of course South Africa which hosted the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Morocco may have the best chances of hosting. It only hosted the AFCON once and that was 35 years ago. It can offer eight stadiums to host matches unlike Algeria which only has five. Tourism wise, Morocco is more attractive and there is a clear strong relationship between CAF, current administration, and Morocco. Morocco accused Algeria of intentionally denying its team to defend their title at the African Nations Championship earlier this year, a scenario that cannot be repeated in the AFCON if Algeria gets awarded the hosting rights. And as South Africa is struggling economically, the 2022 FIFA World Cup semi-finalist Morocco is maybe the favorite to land the 2025 AFCON finals. To host the expanded AFCON, a nation must have six large capacity stadiums to cater for six groups of four teams each and 24 training pitches. Guinea said it needed some 800 million US dollars to build the necessary infrastructure needed to host the AFCON, a staggering figure for most African nations. The purpose of hosting the Africa Cup of Nations across the continent is to help in developing football infrastructure. Analysts say that CAF rushed when it expanded the competition from 16 to 24 teams because after so many hosts failed, it has become clear that the AFCON is only for the countries that are already ready. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.